Traffic laws and courteous driving customs help keep our roads safe. Whether you're new to the United States, new to driving, or both, learning these laws and customs can seem overwhelming. Hello, I'm Lieutenant Rick Sawyer with the Ohio State Highway Patrol. Every year, nearly 42,000 people lose their lives on United States roads and highways. As a trooper with the Ohio State Highway Patrol, it's my duty to enforce the traffic laws that help make our roads safe. In this video, we'll discuss some of the laws and customs that can help you drive safely. We'll describe traffic laws, the proper way to operate safety belts, the benefits of airbags, car seats and child safety restraints, drinking alcohol and driving, and we'll want you to feel comfortable behind the wheel of your vehicle so you can help make the roads more secure for yourself and others. It's time to go, come on. Come on, Lee. I'm here. Let's go. Put on your seatbelt. Just go. I'll put it on once we're on the road. I'm not moving until you buckle up. 75% of car crashes happen within 25 miles of the home. 60% take place on streets where the speed limit is below 40 miles per hour. Safety belts reduce traffic fatalities and serious injuries. Every year, it is estimated that over 10,000 lives are saved by the proper use of safety belts. Safety belts are not only the way to feel safe in a car, front airbags have saved 13,967 lives between 1987 and 2003. To decrease the chance of injury from airbag deployment, it's recommended that the driver sit at least 10 inches from the steering wheel. Wait, I thought I heard something. It sounded like a siren. A siren? Are you sure? Yes, pull over. All right. It's important to react correctly when emergency vehicles approach. The letters in the word siren spell out a helpful reminder. S is for stay alert, drive defensively. Keep the noise level down inside your car and look for more than one emergency vehicle. I is for investigate, check your mirrors. Estimate the closing speed of emergency vehicles to plan your next move. R is for react. React quickly, but calmly. Always use a turn signal when moving to the shoulder or exiting the road, and don't slam on the brakes or pull over too suddenly. E is for enter. Before re-entering the road, turn on your signal and gradually merge back into traffic. N is for never. Never follow or try to outrun an emergency vehicle. Over 12,000 emergency vehicle collisions occur every year. In fact, EMS accidents are the second leading cause of death for firefighters in the United States. So just stay calm and pull over. Properly yielding to emergency vehicles can save lives on the road as well as off. What are the risks of not wearing a seatbelt while driving? Well, there are several risks. Primarily, it helps you to maintain control when things go wrong. It helps keep you in the seat while you're going through a, particularly a rough road uh, when you have to take evasive action to avoid another collision. Um, but it also helps to prevent injury and ultimately helps to prevent fatalities. What are the benefits of airbags? Airbags help to minimize the damage particularly in a front and side impact collision. How should drivers react to an approaching emergency vehicle? Well, the law dictates that when an emergency vehicle is operating both lights and sirens, that a vehicle must pull and yield the right of way to that oncoming emergency vehicle, whether it be coming and approaching from behind or coming from the opposite direction. Give me that. Hello? Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, Sam. Can I talk to Dad? No, he's driving. It's safer for you to talk to me. How's school? Good. I'm calling to see if I can stay on campus this weekend. There's a party. Sam wants to stay at school this weekend so he can go to a party. No drinking and drive. Your father says it's fine as long as you are safe. Mom, I know. 
I know, I know. You are old enough to be responsible for yourself. Just be extra careful. Don't drink and drive, and certainly don't get into a car with someone who's been drinking. I know, I won't. Love you. Love you too. In 2003, over 17,000 people were killed in alcohol-related crashes, an average of almost one every half hour. These crashes accounted for 40% of all traffic fatalities. No, sir, if you would, please stay in your vehicle okay. for me. Thank you. Hi, sir, I'm Lieutenant Zwayer with Highway Patrol, and the reason I've got you stopped is because you passed a car back here on a double yellow line, and I'll need to see your driver's license, registration, and proof of insurance, please. Registration? Yes, sir. Insurance? Yes, sir. R try to remain calm. If you would, most people keep their registration and their insurance paperwork in the glove box. So if you could retrieve it for me, please. Okay. Sir, this is a driver license. Yes, this is all I'm going to need. I'm going to go back to my patrol car and I'll be back up here in a few minutes if you just stay right where you are. Okay. When being pulled over by a law enforcement officer, remain in the car unless asked otherwise. It's important to stay calm and speak slowly. The officer is just doing his job, and a polite demeanor will help ease the situation. Don't become defensive or start an argument. That behavior can lead to stronger penalties. Yes, sir. Okay, sir, even though this was your first offense, because this was such a dangerous maneuver passing on a double yellow line, I am going to be issuing you a ticket. So what I need to do is I'm going to give you your information back. And then what I need you to do, I need you to sign right here, sir, if you would, and I'm going to give you a copy of the citation. Okay. okay. That's all you need. Now I'm going to give you a copy of the citation. The only thing that I would ask is to make sure that you put your safety belt on mm -hmm. and that you drive safely. Now, if you do have any questions after we leave here today, there's information on the back of the citation that you can use in order to call the court if you need to. Okay. Okay? Thank you. Have a good day. Regardless of who's at fault, what should a driver do if he or she is involved in a crash? Drivers, if they are involved in a crash, must pull their vehicles to the side and at minimum check to see if anyone is injured and to also exchange information with the other drivers involved. If there, are, if there are no other drivers involved and it is a one vehicle collision, the first thing that they should do is check to see if they, they are injured themselves or if there is property damage. And if so, contact a law enforcement officer to come to the scene to investigate the incident. What role does a state trooper play in regard to traffic law? A state trooper is very important in maintaining traffic control out on the roadways, making sure that people are driving safe, not aggressively, and responding to calls for assistance. It's important that troopers are in the right place at the right time to assist motorists in helping to save lives and report incidents that can be dangerous. Why is it dangerous to drive while talking on a cellular phone? Any type of distraction in a motor vehicle, whether it be a cell phone or your radio, eating food or putting on makeup, any of those things that can be distractions can take your mind off of the important task of driving. It's important that when we get in our vehicle, that the most important thing is that we get to our destination safely. What is the law regarding driving under the influence of alcohol? What are the dangers and what are the consequences? The risks of driving under the influence of alcohol are that you can certainly seriously injure or kill someone, including yourself or your loved ones. The importance is, is that while driving intoxicated, you limit your reaction time, your ability to think, and your ability to coordinate your movements while driving and operating your vehicle. It's important that if you decide to drink or celebrate, that you choose to have a designated driver to get you to your destination. When is it safe to pass a slow moving vehicle? You must make sure that there are no oncoming vehicles. You must ensure that the person you are attempting to pass is well signaled of your intention that you intend to pass. 
You must make a signal to pass. You must also use an audible signal to let that person in front of you know that you're passing them. What is important to remember when you are pulled over by a police officer? To remain calm, stay in the vehicle, get your driver license, your car insurance, and your car registration. Do I have to stop that school bus on the other side of the street? Yes, you never know if children could be crossing the street after getting off the bus. School buses are the safest way to transport children to school but an average of 33 children die in school bus related crashes each year. There are specific traffic laws that protect the safety of our children while they ride on school buses. All vehicles must stop when a school bus displays red flashing lights and extend the stop signal arm. Slow down, that's a school zone up ahead. I know all about the school zone. During the restricted hours, I had to follow reduce speed limit. If you get caught speeding in a school zone, the fine would usually be doubled. That I didn't know. Good thing you have me here to explain these things to you. School zones exist to help protect children in and around school. Most pedestrian fatalities involving children take place at non-intersections. These tragedies occur when children often do not understand how to properly cross a street or recognize the danger of running into the street without checking for oncoming traffic. What are the restrictions when driving through school zones and near school buses? Slow down and follow the uh, speed limit near the school zone. And should the bus school bus stop and flash its light, you should stop. I'll be right back. OK. Not until you are at least 12. Then maybe we'll talk about letting you to sit up front. The back seat is the safest place for a child to ride. All 50 states require that children up to 18 months of age ride in car seats. But there are various stages of car seats. For children under 20 pounds, over 20 pounds, over 40 pounds, and up to the age of eight. How and where is it recommended that infants ride in a vehicle? The safest place for children and infants is in the center of the vehicle or to the rear of the vehicle. And it's best to place those infants in that center of the rear seat where it provides the most protection for them. For children under 20 pounds, they should be in a rear facing car seat, very well secured in that car seat. And the seat itself needs to be very well secured in the seat. For children 20 to 40 pounds, they can be placed in a front forward facing car seat and it's still recommended that they are in the middle and the back seat. At what age and under what conditions should a child graduate to adult lap and shoulder belts? Once a child has reached the age of eight years old, it is recommended that they can be, in a, be placed in a lap and shoulder restraint combination. When should booster seats be used? Booster seats should be used with a properly fitted safety belt, shoulder harness, and lap belt combination. When used correctly, child safety seats can prevent injuries and save lives. Why is it important to stop for a school bus? School buses discharge and receive school children every day. It's important that during those times when the school bus is stopped with its lights operated and flashing and the stop sign out, that drivers are very aware that children are being discharged or received on that school bus. It's imperative that those drivers make sure that they stop at least 10 feet behind or in front of the school bus when those children are being received or discharged. Why do school zone speed limits exist? School zone speed limits, like any other speed limits, exist for the safety of those individuals that are in that area. They are in place because children are out being discharged from the school or being received from to the school and the children may be at or near the roadway at the times designated for that. Why should you follow posted speed limits in school zones? It's safer for the children who are crossing the street. Driving can be dangerous and that's why we have traffic laws to protect everyone on the road including you. 
Remember these tips to ensure your own safety and the safety of those around you. Buckle your safety belt. Your airbags can protect you. Always sit at least 10 inches away from your steering wheel. The letters and siren can help you remember how to properly react to an approaching emergency vehicle. Always review basic traffic laws. Do not pass on a double yellow line. Follow the posted school zone speed limit. Stop when a school bus displays flashing red lights and extends a stop signal arm. If a law enforcement officer stops you, stay calm and speak slowly. Use the correct car seat for a child's age and weight. And of course, don't drink and drive. By observing traffic laws and points covered in this program, you'll become more comfortable behind the wheel and safe driving will become natural. We rely on you, the driver, to make our roadways safe.